You might have heard uh, the old American phrase, speak cheap. If you are familiar with the term, you also know that talking is far from cheap. On the contrary, it can be very expensive, for example, if you say the wrong words to your significant other and you can sleep on the couch. In the court room, uh, the jungle can convince you if you don't pay close attention to your toward in his presence. Wrong words ruined uh, the relationship at uh, the end of the marriage uh, and even the wars that have begun. In business, words also play an important role because it is the leaders who use words wisely that get the best result. In some cases, our choice of words can determine the success or failure of others. Therefore, our speech is critical to positively affect the performance and morale of the team. How would you rate your ability to communicate effectively with your team? Is everyone waiting or afraid of the conversation you have with them? In this lesson, you will discover the secrets of your speech success and how to make the most of each conversation. 20th century British Prime Minister Winston Churchill once said, We are masters of unspoken words, but slaves of those we have released. The 19th century American writer Mark Twain once wrote, The character of a man can be recognized from the adjective that he usually uses in conversation. Knowing these quotes, think carefully and evaluate the words you say to each other every day. Do you hurt or heal? Are they motivating or discovering? This uh, critical component of long-term success is often overlooked by business leaders around the world. To make sure your words are important to you, write a priority list. I remind us of the importance of keeping your promises. While we may not start or end our sentences with I promise, our team gives an implied or rare guarantee for every word we say. For example, if you say that I will contact you in an hour or I teach you this week, those who turn to you for advice will take your words as face value. So, make a concerted effort to make promises you can keep. You can also write them down or set reminders. To make sure you don't disappoint the team, imagine the children uh, here take uh, their ability to feel them they are promised something special from their parents and the promises never comes true. Your team expects you to promote uh, whatever you say and understanding the impact of promising is the first step. It would also be a good idea to list all the promises you keep over the next day. Your words should be used uh, for argumentation. There will always be a difference of opinion among uh, them team members. Therefore, in order to ensure uh, the victory of called uh, heads, you must discover the subtle um, art of reasoning. When you spend time with opposing parties uh, to get them to work together as arbiters uh, of uh, the legal profession, all mediators will be trained to help people who disagree, find ways to solve problems. As a leader, you are the facilitator who expects them to know what to say to keep the team focused and productive. As to assist in this endeavor, consider the following classification. Make sure you understand the complexity of the problems that individual team the members face. This is your opportunity to ask open-ended questions and then 
reformulate their answer uh, to rule out the possibility in misinterpretation. It is also helpful to write words or memorize case point of the conversation. Highlight the positive aspects uh, of your team. Team members prize with words. No need to criticism, no matter how serious the problems they seem. You should focus on the bright side of all situations. Once you zoom it in, it's time to fix one of uh, the greatest benefits of words, the ability to use them in problem solving. Practical solution talk about when you only talk about solution to each pretended problem. These three steps will help you in your reasoning skills. Your words are some of the most valuable resource you possess. So use them wisely. The first two steps remind us to make the most of our promises and take advantage of opportunities for reasoning. Do it effectively and watch the value of your words. Scale up your assignment in this lesson. Make a list of the general promises you make to your team. Then measure yourself each week how well you keep those promises.